hi guys welcome back today in this video we are going to take a look on the uh, review of the first impression for the open beta builds for the oneplus 3t and the oneplus 3 so actually i don't want to make a separate video it's already been a quite a mess here two new updates came in 24 hour for the official 4.0.2 so make sure to check out my previous videos and along with that i do want to clarify some of the points and wanted to show something like benchmark comparison with the official open beta builds and some of the common points and questions like in you guys might be thinking whether you should go with the beta or whether you should go with the official so let's get started so this is my OnePlus ct here skin from the gadget seal it is a completely scratch protector so that's why the show shiny you guys might be thinking it's the same from the skin over i'm just about to change it here anyway guys let's get started so this is the device here so i have not changed the launcher here you will get this default set of wallpaper and uh, how do i install it so i installed it via adb side load so for OnePlus 3, I installed it via 12, then I went inside this ADB side load. In my OnePlus 3T, I directly used the stock recovery. Then I did it. After that, I again installed the 12. So the one I am using 12 here is 3.0.3-beta1. Uh, and the one I am using on OnePlus 3 is 3.0.3, which is the official. And there is no password work in case you are stalling 12. So that was here in the previous open beta versions. But it is not here in this build. I have already rooted my device. So we will see these things later. So here the device here and comparing with the build number. Both devices are completely have done the factory reset just today morning. Then I after I installed the official builds that I again moved here. So I was trying to figure out something where there's not a much difference. So they are running the same December security patch level. And this is uh, open beta 11, open beta 2. Now first we will take a look on the official change log. You can check out the same in the official OnePlus application that you guys might be getting on your phone. Here is the one. So as you can see here, uh, everything is completely same. The major problem was that uh, the Google Play Store bug and the proximity sensor. The both are perfectly working. I have tested it here and also it was fixed in the official 4.0.2. So I am not going to show you here this thing yet. I already have tested. I made a couple of calls. Everything is working fine. So and why this is built so let me tell you what is that all about so uh, a common question is here what is the difference between beta and the official so first off any new features that this company is going to add first it pushes to open beta builds for example in case you're in 3t or 3 so users test it they share it via feedback application you can see there's a feedback url so from here from the company internal testing computer share this thing when they fix it they move to the official that's why uh, earlier we have the beta 10 and beta 1 then finally they merged it together and they called the 4.0.2 now the same 4.0.2 they have pushed out as a beta so technically everything is same just a few features are different because the same code is merged with this different official so for example let me just show you here in case uh, you are on the official i guess if you go inside this gestures so you're not going to see this uh, uh, long screenshot feature which is here in this beta build so here's an example so three finger gestures and screenshot are there if i just go and take a long screenshot here so you can see i am getting this long screenshot feature this is on the plus 3t and this is on the one plus 3 so i am getting in both the feature both devices support this so this is kind of minor tweaks are there but this is there's not much difference here if you might be thinking you can see this is what your long screenshot came all right so going back again everything is almost same there's not a much difference so feature wise two important major bug fixes were done and i have already read the couple of comments inside the oneplus forum so people were saying there's a lot of battery drains going on so in case you are facing some problem so i will request you to do one factory reset so take all your backup all, all your data as backup because it is going to wipe all your apps and things so here are the uh, battery results so it's not sudden battery drop i am just working a lot connecting usbs and all the stuff restarting going to the twerp so that's how it's going on and also initially when i was uh, you know install that and i was trying to unlock it and i was feeling some kind of animation delay but now it is fine so overall uh, this is about the build overview so now to my change here and from where you can download this there is a complete link is there you can download and install it from there now let's check the geek benchmark result first so we will go here this is the geek benchmark so morning when i ran it at uh, about the same time when the both devices were running 4.0.2 so one plus three had a great score compared to one plus three t if you ran it again definitely one plus three t will show different results so but i just show you guys here so both devices keeps on changing now when i ran this time 
when they are running the beta 2 versus the beta 11 so you can see when plus 3t really has a great score it's a kind of respectable score now if i go to the same for the enduro score so this is the entry result that I got here for OnePlus 3T. It's 168. It's very high number. I mean, I have seen it till 169, but not that much. So this is 156. Uh, actually, first time when I ran it, I got it 150002. But again, I ran it. I don't know how much, why it is so. So I ran it again. I got it 156001. Now you guys might be wondering what was the scores comparing to the previous build. So as you can see, this is here right side. I have OnePlus 3 which was running the beta 10 and the left side I have OnePlus 3T which is running the beta 1 and here are the geek benchmark results so right side I have OnePlus 3 left side I have OnePlus 3T now it's time to see uh, some other stuffs like routing things so um, device is perfectly able to route it I have already done the routing so you can see I'll just show you guys again if I close my root checker basic turn it on again here's the scores sorry not the scores if I run it again so OnePlus 3T is already rooted, OnePlus 3 is also rooted. So I have used the uh, latest Super SU SR3 version 2.79. So I'll put the links uh, on my blog post so you can go and read out there. And also the 12 version that I have used perfectly. So everything is working fine and I will try to use that. I am not hoping any major bug. The Play Store things were still not working, yes. Uh, on the official world in case we are roaming. So Play Store is not working there still. So only the roaming condition, otherwise if you're not roaming, then it is working on the mobile data. So that's it guys, a quick update about the OnePlus 3T, OnePlus 3 Open Beta Bills. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, do let me in the comments in case you have concerns and queries. This is Saurabh, I'll catch you next video, have a great day.